lovely Summer Simsy Clay here and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are doing a break from my save file. I think I might stick to house like doing breaks on Sundays, that way kind of starting the week, or I should say ending the week kind of fresh, not really having to stick with the same theme. But we're taking a break from my save file because I wanted to play with the new kits. Now you all might be sitting there thinking, hey, the kits came out like two weeks ago, they're not new. I actually built this home the day that the kits came out. So I was really inspired obviously by the Country Kitchen one and I wanted to play around with it, but because I have so many videos like pre-scheduled because of my work schedule and everything, I actually didn't have a space in the schedule until the like, not the Sunday after they came out, but obviously the Sunday after that. So it was a little odd. I kept thinking in my head, I was like, yes, this is gonna be new, everyone's gonna be excited. And then it was like, oh wait, this is actually going up almost two weeks after the kids came out. But I'm still excited about it. I had a lot of fun building this home. I always do when I do country style builds like this and I wasn't really thinking about who was going to be living in this home. I was just kind of trying to build like a super cozy, comfy, traditional style cottage. And it turns out being like a, I almost wanna say a, I don't, a crafty couple. Maybe I'll call this the crafty couple's cottage. Actually, that sounds really cute. That's what I'm going to call this home, the crafty couple's cottage. So basically, there's a whole bunch of different crafting stuff of like all Sims, like all the packs that we got crafting stuff in, I basically shoved it into this house. There's knitting, there's painting, there's music, there's woodworking, there's um, candle making, there's gardening and plant and like flower arranging and I kind of shoved all of it into like this office space and then obviously you can see the shed off to the side and my idea was that this couple lived off the land. They were very quiet, they were very homey, um, they didn't have any kids. I thought that they probably couldn't have any kids so they kind of shoved themselves into their work and they own a Plopsy store and they're basically just living out their days. I thought that they were probably a little bit older, um, not quite elders but maybe just about there and they were living out their days in their cute country cottage just kind of minding their own business. So that ended up being the idea towards the end, but when I was initially building this, it was strictly just what would look best with this new kitchen kit because I was so in love with this kitchen kit. And you'll see when we get onto the interior, I usually do like by the front door first, but we jump right into the kitchen. I just skip everything else and I'm like, no, I wanna play with the kitchen. So I, it, you can definitely tell that I was very, very happy with how um, that kit turned out. And another funny thing about these kits, so I am going to talk about them quite a bit in this video because obviously this was my first home playing with them, even though this is coming out a couple weeks late, but I also got the Bust the Dust kit, and I heard a lot of people say that the dust kind of accumulates, accumulates way too quickly, like it's unmanageable, and I don't want to... I don't know, I don't like being argumentative and I don't want to disagree, but I had to play in this house for a week because I couldn't get the weather machine to work and it was raining the whole week and I needed to take the screenshots and it was always raining or cloudy and it was never like the right sunlight for screenshots and so I literally played in this house for a week and I vacuumed once and I had no dust bunnies, I had no fires, I had no like large accumulations of dust and the sim that I always play with is my personal sim which means it comes with a dog so there was a sim and a dog living in this house and I had like none of the issues so I don't I don't know if maybe it's a glitch that's causing all these issues with the dust but I did think it was kind of fun because the one time I did have to vacuum my sim had just gotten back from work and there was like this little sheen of dust on the floor and I, my sim walked in and she got this um happy moodlet yeah i think it was a happy moodlet and it said happy from a lived in space because there was enough dust that the space looked lived in but not enough that it was like super messy and i thought that that was so cute that they went in and added all these new emotions and moodlets and stuff to match with this new uh kit and then in here this is the kitchen so i love this country kitchen stuff i think that the idea that all of the different cabinets gave us so many different shapes and sizes to play with and they're all open except for you know like the one and so we have different we have we 
have like a plate holding one, we have a pot holding one, we have some towels and some baskets. And then on top of that, all of the clutter decorations that we got with this pack, I just, I am so happy. And the color schemes really, they're a little bright, I'm not gonna lie. I wish we would have gotten one more muted because the, the wood tones in this one are muted, but you can see there's like the bright pink curtains and all of the wood tone ones have like a bright color mixed in with them if you end up using like the swatches that are closed off and i wish that we had one that did not do that like one that was just straight muted neutral tones but besides that i think that this is a wonderful kit and i love all the different like shapes and like fronts and covers and stuff of the counters that we got and like even the island counters which you can see me messing with here some of them are open some of them are closed the ones that have cabinets they're on the right side so i just I just think that this is like a huge step in the right direction in terms of kitchen decorations from The Sims. I'm not speaking as like kits themselves, but the idea that this kitchen has so much stuff in it, if they keep giving us kits that with kitchens like that, I will forever be happy. But now we're going on to the rest of the home. So like I said, it's a very kind of just cozy traditional style home. I used a lot of seasons and cats and dogs and jungle adventure, which I feel like I always do with builds like this, but considering for the past like four weeks, my channel has been filled with modern Oasis Springs build i think that you guys can forgive me for kind of resorting back to my usual and over here i used this movie hangout dresser i really liked how the flowers looked on it and it looked kind of distressed i've been watching a lot of fixer upper so if you guys watch that show then you know joanna really enjoys like distressed wood and like farmhouse decor and so i was kind of tr inspired by that while i was building this obviously because it, it was on while i was building this and I, a couple of my other builds have been heavily influenced by me watching that show as well. So I'm kind of, I don't know. If you guys get annoyed with it, let me know in the comments down below. But as of right now, I'm really enjoying this kind of fixer upper kit. But now we're over here into the dining room and the floor plan of this home is really odd. I will give it that much. There's like this empty space between the dining and the living and then where the kitchen is because I didn't want to leave it as an open floor plan because that's not really like traditional. But I wanted to make sure that there was enough space for a decent sized kitchen because this build was all about me playing with the new kitchen kit. So it turns out that there's just like this L shape that a whole section of it doesn't really end up furnished. It's where I place the art easel and the guitar that I give this family because I really wasn't quite sure what else to put here. But the living area really is cozy. It has the fireplace that they can sit next to and maybe knit or talk about like what's going on, about their retirement, about their plopsy shop. And I put up a couple of kind of like rustic posters about food and cooking and chickens and stuff like that. And then this is that like awkward space that I was talking about. And I also wanted to mention, I talked about it in one of my other builds that went up. I think it went up Wednesday. The sparkling on the floor is from the Bust the Dust pack. Um, just ignore it. If it really does bother you, I really don't, I don't know what to say because I can't turn it off unless I disable the whole pack. So hopefully they fix that because I don't know why in build mode the sparkles are still popping up. But um, I do want to apologize if that does bother you. But now we're into the office. So they have kind of two office areas. They have this one here and then they have the shed out back. This one I figured was for more of like the indoor hobbying activities. So they have some knitting stuff in here. They obviously have their painting easel and their guitar out in the other room. I give them like an old beaten up laptop. I figured that was kind of how they stayed connected with the world. Um, maybe they have like siblings or something out in the world that they talk to because now they kind of live on their own in this little cottage or maybe they have like some friends pen pals that they stay in contact with but i i didn't give them a tv or anything so i thought that that computer was definitely their one gateway into society and then adding just a couple of extra seating spots and then in here is their bedroom it's very very country chic um i use this bed from base game that has the sunflowers on it 
and then some distressed looking side wood side tables and then a cats and dogs dresser and then this base game mirror right here and I do this little floral arrangement on their dresser with the discover university plants and then the nifty knitting llama plant and I thought that it looked super cute like when I turned the plants around from discover university it kind of created this circle effect that was then closed off by the llama and I thought that just fit really perfectly and then over here I gave them a couple of side table decorations I gave one a little notebook and then one some gardening equipment and then in here is their lovely little maker space so it has a flower arranging table a woodworking table and a, and a candle making table and then it has a couple of the miscellaneous decorations from eco lifestyle like this potting bench but besides that this room is the last one in this build so i hope you all enjoyed this one if you did please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel and i will see you all next time bye